Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick off part 2 for the last 16 round and we have two more matches to tuck into here as we will see Slifer Sky Dragon X taking on tour and Laos going up against Aladar. Without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup. Alright, up first for Slifer Sky Dragon, we have an Ableosaurus. The Able Lizard. Can it can it enable Slifer Sky Dragon X to go through in the last to the quarterfinal? We'll just have to see. It's gonna be tough, because as for Tor in the blue corner, we have the overpowered Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. We've definitely seen what this beast can do. And we've also raised suspicion about his technique, as it seems to have. 4500 technique instead of 450 technique. Ding, 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 ding. But I think Tor's going to need a bit more than luck to win this match. Four. Ooh. Ooh, the dino stuffer there. The dino stuffer says, nah, uh, uh. no crit for the Ablesaurus there. But I think... I think Tor would rather have used it when it had Magma Blaster triggered, but oh well. Oh, here comes the hit, and here comes the first Flare Sword of the match. Oh, no, it doesn't. A rarity indeed. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, the Ablesaurus strikes back. Not much damage dealt, though. The Alpha Acro does have the slight lead. And that lead's going to be extended with this hit and the upcoming Volcano Burst. No! Ah, oh, finally. I, th I, th I, think, I think they fixed Alpha Acro's technique now. So it's, so, it's, so it's functioning as normal instead of being 4,500 now. So I think it is actually at 450. Well... Technique or not, it doesn't matter at this point because the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus is looking strong and has given Tor a 1-0 lead. Alright, Dio, then. As for Slifer Sky Dragon's second dino, we have an Apatosaurus. And we actually saw one of his secret moves for the first time in this tournament. As Slifer Sky Dragon X made that amazing comeback against... Who the bloody hell was it? Um, I can't remember who it was. Ah, uh, it'll come to me. <laughs> well, it was an epic comeback. Oh, Nano Hunter. That's the one, Nano Hunter. Was it Nano Hunter? I, I, I really can't remember. I've forgotten blank. And, and I host this tournament that I don't even know the matches are happening. Some host I am. Anyway, the Apatosaurus getting off a hit. Slifer Sky Dragon wearing down the Alpha Acro. Can he finish it off? The answer to that is not yet. As the Alpha Acro sneaks in a crit, and here comes that inevitable Flare Sword. The first one of the match, which is a huge surprise. Dude, oh my god, I almost killed it! Look at that! Massive hit from Tor, that. Freaking a Patasaurus, you gotta pull your finger out, you. Well, it pulls its finger out in the end, defeats the Alpha Acro Canthosaurus, and evens the score. But I suspect that won't last long, because... As for Tor's second dino, we have a Vrisniosaurus. And yes, yeah, someone may have made a mess trying to make this thing using the Iguanodon model in Jurassic World Evolution. And I take full responsibility for that. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if it could be done, to be honest. I, I, I want it to fight back, though. I don't, I don't want it to be a freaking sauropod. That's boring. I want it to fight. Ooh! We're actually going to see some secret moves from the Apatosaurus. It's lasted in long enough. Hmm, it could be a good, good, good comeback dinosaur, because it takes a while, it seems to take a while for his secret moves to be triggered, and look at that. Apatosaurus might be a very good, like, come from behind dinosaur. Because it does take a while for his secret moves to be triggered. However, despite that secret move, that will not be enough to defeat the fairy as Tor gets off the hit and takes the lead, going into Slifer Sky Dragon's third dino. But do not underestimate this dino as it is spiny. 
the push over of the Dinosaur King franchise. Not in Team Sly for Sky Dragon X though, as it has been mightily impressive, and it was critical to Sly for Sky Dragon's comeback in the last 32 match. And despite being 2 1 down, Slifer Sky Dragon has closed the gap. So Tor's not too far ahead, and I think one hit from Spiny will kill the fairy. However, it's getting that hit that's the problem. And if Tor gets off a bonus hit, well, which she won't, because the Spiny's gonna come in to finish off the fairy. Alright, as for Tor's third dino, we have a Spinosaurus. It's gonna be Spiny against Spinosaurus here. Which one will be mightier? Honestly, if that Alpha Acro got off about five bloody flare swords of volcano bursts in this tournament, I'd, I'd just be. I just disqualify Tor for cheating, for hacking the technique. There's no way that thing should get off bloody volcano bursts every single hit. It's rubbish. But it didn't this time. Will it come back to haunt Tor? We'll just have to see. Well, I'd say so far no, because Spinosaurus got the big hit on Spiny, and there's the Strufio Rush, adding a little bit extra damage. Ooh, however, Spiny not done yet. Here comes the Neptune Stream. Paper, paper! Rock, rock, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors, rock, scissors, paper. Ding! And I didn't mess it up, which means big damage is coming the Spino's way. Ooh, but the Aqua Vortex has been triggered. Oh, but so a Shockwave. Oh, no, not Shockwave. Aqua Javelin. Oh, big damage there from Slifer Sky Dragon. But Tor does have that Aqua Vortex. So as long as she don't get hit, Tor's still in with a chance. Oh, it's over! Oh, oops, I moved the Buddy Dinosaur King thing. Well, well, well. Slifer Sky Dragon continue to in continuing to impress. Taking out Tor with a well-timed Neptune stream. Well, that's Tor eliminated. And now we're going to move on to our next matchup to find out who Slifer Sky Dragon X's next opponent will be in the quarterfinal. Alright, in the red corner for Laos, we have a Alpha Kendrosaurus. Kendrosaurus star. We've seen what this guy can do and we've seen it die easily. So I don't know what kind. So let's hope for Laos's sake we see the good side of Kendrosaurus. However, he's not the only one with a Stegosaur, because in the blue corner for Alada we have a Desantorus. And well, this guy was pretty good against Lanzusaurus until it died in one hit to Super Impact, but other than that, yeah, it's been pretty decent. Aladar was quite impressive in the last 32 round against Damix Tactile, ending their unbeaten streak. <sighs> and it did defeat the Gigant Spinosaurus if I'm if I'm remembering right. Ooh, but Louse is an entirely different kind of animal though. The former champ, huge experience in these tournaments and definitely one to avoid in this, at this stage of the tournament. And just like that, an earth barrier and a poison. A strong start from Louse, then that might as well have been a crit. Oh, oh, speaking of crit, here comes the crit, here comes the spike arrows and here comes a 1-0 lead for Louse. And Desantorus lasted about two seconds. Because it died in two hits. Um, okay, as for Aladar's second dino, we have a Super Opista Sealer Claudia. And Aladar's in a bit of danger here about get, of getting swept away by Laos. <laughs> and Slifer Sky Dragon X might be quake might be might be quaking a bit. Especially if Laos wins this match. The former champ looking strong so far, but this joker over the pack, the Super Opisacilla Claudia, is not to be underestimated. 
Hell, it's so long it doesn't even fit its name. And here is why. Ocean panic time, and if the shockwave effect activates, Aladar will pretty much guarantee himself another hit. However, the Earth Barrier is still in effect. So even when... Oh, the shockwave effect didn't happen. So even if Aladar gets another another hit, it won't do much damage. Oh, wow, another Ocean Panic. A chance missed before for Aladar to get the shockwave off. But can they get it off this time? Swing, swing, swing. Brush. Nope, okay, that's twice. Next round will be awakening time. Ooh, Aladar getting off a crit. Oh, Earth Barrier has gone. Oh, maybe the Ocean Panic did go through it. Okay. Anyway, it's awakening time for a Pissacilla Claudia. Ooh, but that will definitely suit Aladar more. A tie will take out the Kentrosaurus, and Aladar will. A Pissacilla Claudia will still be in awakened mode for when this Eoraptor comes in. So out of completely nowhere, Aladar could actually go 2-1 up here. Okay, Eoraptor becomes Staracosaurus, which I think has become Staracosaurus before. So if I'm remembering right, its scissors move will be Thunder Driver. Yep. Which I suppose is not too bad, but you know, you, you'd rather it be something like Electric Charge or something. I don't know. Oh, it's a chance missed! The Strakas, the Eoraptor getting off the hit, and what an opportunity wasted there from Aladar. Because this Opisthocele Cordia will lose half its health after this. However, as a saving grace, the Ocean Pan, the um, Aqua Vortex did get triggered. However, Aladar will not be needing it as they just get off the hit anyway. And here comes the shockwave. Which means there's a good chance that we'll see Ocean Panic again. However, a tie, Mouse won't mind a tie because of that tie bomb. And Eoraptor is a blunder type. So that definitely favoured Louse there that tie. Oh, and here comes the Thunder Driver. This will finish off the Opisthocele Claudia and give Laos the 2-1 lead. But Aladar definitely putting up more of a fight this time. Well, unlike the Sandra Rurras, it didn't even get a hit. So I, I wouldn't count Aladar out yet, though, because as for the third dino, we have the Omega Armor Eo Carcaria. And for Aladar to win this match, I think they're going to need to see an Omega Phoenix. Ideally on the Isosaurus, not on the Eoraptor, because that's kind of, that'll be kind of a waste. But I think even with an Omega Phoenix, I don't think it might it would kill the a full-strength Isosaurus. So plenty to play for still. Ooh, the tie bombs though, not good for Aladar. As they will wear down the Eocarcaria's health when it's a tie. However, a crit is good. Wow, this Eoraptor's not taking much damage, mainly because of defense boost. And I can definitely see now why Laos used defense boost instead of Dino Suffer. Oh, those tie bombs are stacking up. The damage will be... The damage will be major when it's a tie. But, at this rate, I don't think Laos is going to need a tie because he's getting off hits. Another crit there and another tie bomb. And I think if it's a tie, that might actually be lethal. Ooh, but the Eocarcaria getting off the hit. Aladar striking back here with a flare sword. But ideally, he needs to fill that bar up, and the only way he's realistically going to fill it up is if he gets off hits. Oh, here comes the tie. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Eel Carcaria biting the dust against it on me. The Eel Raptor. Wow, a very impressive display there from Lousp. And Slifer Sky Dragon X might be getting a bit nervous because they're going to be facing Lousp in the quarter final. Right, well, have a look at the format and we'll end the session. So, yeah, as you can see here, we will see Slifer Sky Dragon X going up against Lousp. And Ultimate Dino Queen taking on Nopi. Okay, stay tuned for next time where we'll see Ultimate Dino King taking on Star Pumpkin and Pilk going up against Darius. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing.